BTS vlog. Yeah, I'm outside once again. Is it? This is now going to be our one of our normal spots uh, in my little uh, tea house cafe outside. <laughs> There's room for three here. It's a small thing, but it's not it's not uh, anything large. But it's nice. Uh, it is 23 hours and 20 minutes into the day of Saturday. June 25th, uh, 2016. Friday was a rather long day, but it ran over until, until Saturday. Uh, what ended up, ended up happening is that... Excuse me. Is that around 2 o'clock in the morning, I was just doing some some, some errands. To do, well, fixing up around my place. And it's kind of like... I, I always view my place uh, in many ways like, like uh, a gel and ship or the Starship Enterprise. It's the, the physical building that takes you places, and while the ultimate uh, goal, your your uh, endeavors are utmost important in your mind, the physical realities often pop into play and uh, have to be dealt with, uh, and they, they, they just, uh, grind the whole ship grinds to a halt and. Last night, uh, my uh, toilet stopped working. It backed up, but I couldn't figure out why it had backed up. And so I sat down and I started working on it, trying to clean, clean it out as best as I could. Um, got on the internet, looked at YouTube, looked at a variety of different suggestions on how to res resolve the problem. And uh, everything ended up working out all right. Uh, but I didn't finish till just about uh, 1.30 in the afternoon. So that's when I finally went to bed. And then the usual pattern happens. You would think I'd be dead exhausted and, and wouldn't be able to sleep. But no. Uh, 5 o'clock, 5.30 rolls around. I get up, I have oh something to eat for about an hour. And then go back to bed. So 6 o'clock, I go back to bed. And you would think that would be sufficient. and But... 10, 10, 30 rolls around, I'm up again. So, uh, I'm still up. I'm going to have something to eat. I'm going to have to let my place air out uh, a little bit more. And then I'll go in and have something to eat. And uh, get ready for tomorrow, which is going to be another long day. So, uh, I think the days are going to start running into each other. This is sort of be one long weekend. So rather than having uh, uh, separated days, these things are going to be almost sort of mashed together. And I guess the couch was heavier than I expected it to be. I moved. I got it here. But I was tired afterwards. And now my upper arms, my, 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 my biceps, and my uh, uh, pecs are all sore now. So my muscles are sore. My legs are fine. But the upper body uh, uh, really got to work out. And so uh, th that's an issue. So I <laughs> said... So, uh, beyond the esoteric, beyond the your uh, uh, the adventures ahead that lie ahead, in terms of your voyages, uh, the mundane comes in. The reality comes in to sort of halt your progress, and this is sort of the situation we are in now. Uh, basically, I've got to roll until the week until the weekends or until Monday. Then Monday, uh, I don't really have necessarily a break because uh, now that the um, uh, uh, the films the the, the the second studio is not working, it's the, and that's the same same where I was basically the research desk 
but now with the uh, DSLR cam DSLR camera, uh, that's going to be doing the uh, uh, the shows that we're like Tweetline Plus, uh, Tweetline Vlogs. Uh, that's for the INN. I also have uh, Beauty and the Geek, and then uh, the Living the Kawhi Life will will come out as well from there, all from that one area there. So uh, different. Same studio, different content. Uh, <laughs> I am the one geek here, so it's not as if there's multiple people here, just as one person, and these are just sort of different aspects of my life, if you will. Ugh. And because that has to come onto the schedule, um, there there isn't really going to be a, there isn't going to be much of a break. There's not going to be much of a weekend, so. But that's kind of the way things go, and uh, it, could, it, you know, it could be worse. <laughs> Famous last words, right? Don't say that. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next segment. Well, hello, everybody. It is uh, one hour and 30 minutes into the day of uh, Monday, June 27th, 2016. Yeah, and I'm outside, but I'm not on the couch. Uh, it's, it's been raining out, so the couch is now closed. It's been bundled up uh, for, for the rain. And uh, this tarp has actually done a good job. It, even though it doesn't fully cover, it's done a sufficient job that... that It's done a sufficient job in that... Uh, the black part of the couch is still dry, and uh, we uh, uh, will have the couch back in operation when the weather clears up. Now, I'm going to take you around to the front, because I've got to check something. One of the problems I was having, I'm just going to close the door just for a bit, let's put it to. I'll go around the front. We'll talk as we go around the front here. One of the problems I was having is, is that uh, my standard mailbox doesn't work properly, and so the because you have to sort of uh, shove the mail through a slot. I use that for my uh, air conditioner. It, it handles the air in there. The, the, it's, that's the air intake. It's not intake. It, it's, it's the output for the air. It's a little wet around here. Try to avoid the puddle, puddles. It's still very humid out, so there's more rain coming. But I'm going to go around the front and I'll show you uh, what I've done. And let's see if it works. Typically, to waterproof something, you have to put a gasket around it. And that, it's, it's, it's a gasket, it's, it's basically a material that goes around the lid of something or the connecting joint and it prevents water from seeping in and so that's what I want to see I want to see when I leave, when I made I made a uh, <laughs> a gasket out of duct tape and I want to see did it work we'll know and see I'll you know, take a look and see how much uh, water is inside if there is any water inside this will give us an idea of how the gasket has worked. Wash it's quite dry out here. It's a little wet on the outside. And dry on the inside. Can't show you. It is dark out, so but uh, uh, and it's dark and I didn't bring my flashlight. If I brought my flashlight, you could have seen the inside. So the gasket worked. Um, the duct tape gasket works. Uh, it's dry. We had a good, a pretty good decent rainstorm today. There should be another rainstorm coming on Tuesday, but we'll see what happens. So I don't know exactly when the couch is going to be back in operation again because uh, I have to wait till the rain clears. We have have uh, a couple good days of of weather before the uh, couch comes back online again. Huh. So I 
gunshots. Hmm. I wonder what it was. No sirens. And the lights there is blinding the camera, so. Yeah, so that's good. The two, the two, those two things are working. Now the car just working. The tarp is working. So everything is kind of in working order. The question now is, uh, uh, well, stay like that. I mean, it is one of the issues is that, uh, and this is what happened uh, uh, Sunday around two o'clock in the morning after I finished uh, talking outside. Sunday was. Yes, it was the 26th. So it's uh, 26 at 2 o'clock in the morning. Coming outside and found my toilet was backed up. I spent until 1 o'clock in the afternoon doing the repairs. So, uh, it was, it was, <laughs> the day, the day sort of, in terms of its compilation of the day, uh, from Friday, Saturday, into Sunday, that's how the day worked out. It was uh, fruit shopping and peripatetics. Uh, that's how they took you with me on Friday. Uh, Friday evening around nine o'clock, I went and got the couch. Uh, you saw how 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 big it was. I have to do repairs on my uh, on my little uh, 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 toboggan. No, no, it's, um, my little wagon. The coach was heavy enough that it bent the uh, steering mechanism, so I have to sit down and figure out how to repair the steering mechanism. And so, given the weight and the distance that I've uh, that I hauled it, uh, remember if you look at one of my 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 um, videos it's down near the end of the street, I'm sort of uh, closer to to the other side of the other side of. Uh, uh, Telson, so uh, I'm more than halfway. More than halfway. I'm three quarters of the way from 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 um, from uh, Esna Park. That's the corner where where I go food shop food shopping. Uh, usually, where the trees are, the end building there. I talk and say, okay, I've got to turn the camera off because I'm going to cross a major street. Okay, uh, take that point there. I'm three quarters of the way up the street here now. Uh, so I had to drag it all that distance on there. Uh, it, the hard part was, and this is why I'm glad I didn't bring the vlogging camera with me, uh, is hard bending over and picking up the handle. So I had to attach a strap to it and hold the strap up and pull it as hard as I could. Uh, that killed my biceps. So came back, rested, talked to you guys. Then 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, the bathroom went down. The, the, it, that's where it clogged up. Uh, ironically enough, uh, this place is old. Uh, I've been here for a long time, uh, and I think it was, it was, it was 16 years worth, worth of buildup in the toilet. Because when you flush, not everything goes down, right? So the, if you get things st st sticks to the pipe and so on and so forth, you have uh, a buildup uh, in the drain pipe. And that can cause clogs and all sorts of things. Uh, so I started, uh, I emptied the toilet out, turned the water off. Uh, actually turned the water off, then emptied the toilet out. And what I began doing is I began a series of uh, using an auger to go into the toilet. This is a long, basically long type of brush type of thing. Uh, to go in there and start cleaning out the drain pipe. And bit by bit, I got things going. Uh, it took about <laughs> close to 12 hours uh, to get everything done properly. In the last uh, six hours, what I did is uh, basically uh, every half hour, uh, I turned this one of my big uh, pot, uh, kettles on. This uh, it's, it's a uh, coffee. It's not even, no, it's not a coffee urn. It, it's a large commercial urn that holds. Ooh, I don't know how many liters uh, of uh, water, and you turn it on, and it, it brings it up to the boiling point. Uh, I must have put 
an entire urn down every hour uh, using uh, the dish uh, using the dishwasher and liquid Dawn and I began to see it I began to see slowly but surely uh, more clothes clothes more, more more towards uh, 10 o'clock in the morning uh, that I started seeing progress and I started seeing the water go down slowly that way I knew uh, when, when my parents would brought, brought, me, brought, brought me by a new uh, plunger is uh, the plunger I had it was started breaking so I got a new one in the morning plunged the toilet and as I started plunging the toilet everything just went down and cleared the clog so it took about 12 hours to really clear the clog and that's when I ended up going to bed on Saturday just about 1 32 o'clock in the afternoon that's the whole, that's the whole day so by the time I, I, but I didn't stay sleeping I didn't stay sleeping I got up around uh, I got up around 10, uh, yeah no I got up I got up around went to bed at 2 got up at 6 then again at 10 o'clock and then around two o'clock in the morning, when I got up the second time, my arms were so sore that basically I called the rest of the day off on Sunday and stayed sleeping for most of the day. And that's, that's kind of the way it's been today. Well, today, you know, yesterday, well, a few hours ago it was Sunday. So, uh, and that's kind of it right now. And so I'm just starting to get things back in order again, and we'll kind of have to sort of see and play by ear how things end up will end up going uh, over the next. Uh, well, Monday and Tuesday, uh, because uh, the days haven't uh, stopped, if you want to put it that way. Uh, so, uh, what are you going to do? This is, that's the way things work here. That's, that's, that's kind of it. You know, you have to sort of deal with whatever comes along. As of right now, I'm waiting for the, the place to cool off. It's doing a pretty good job. Uh, I think another half hour, 45 minutes, and I should be able to go back in again and start uh, uh, the rest of my day. Anyways, I'll talk to you in the next segment, probably, I don't know, we'll see. Depends on what's happening today. Alright, bye. Well, hello everybody, it's time for another uh, BTS vlog. I'm out front. I had to do some repair work on uh, my mailbox. Uh, here it is, here. It's, everything is staying dry, the gasket is working duct tape gasket is working. The problem was that this keeps coming off the door so I put some rope around it and now I've fixed the duct tape a little better so now it's, it's really well fixed to the door. We'll see it tomorrow if it comes off the door. Uh, the rope prevents it from flying away because that had happened once. It's just sort of just got away from, uh, from the door. The wind took it. So it wasn't enough just to have the duct tape there. Uh, I had to put the rope there as well and there are other options for the rope as well that will secure things uh, a bit better so let's keep the light done properly so we have a good side here <laughs> anyways it is uh, 55 minutes into the day of Tuesday uh, June uh, 28th uh, 2016 uh, see this is what happens when when you have the lights behind you it uh, swamps the sensor and so it's always best to have the, the light in front of you and let it, let it adjust that way. So that's what we're doing now. Yeah, so it's about uh, uh, 55 minutes into the day of uh, Tuesday, June 8th, 2016. And I'm not going to fully take off the uh, tarp from uh, the uh, couch because It might rain again. They're calling for thunderstorms, and it is a bit windy, which could indicate that the thunderstorms are on their way. So, uh, at this point in time, I'm going to leave the uh, tarp here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move half of it. You'll see it once I sit down. Uh, I'll come back. I'll vlog again. So this is the first part of, the, of this. I'm going to come back in just a few minutes uh, after I've set the couch up. I'm going to put my mail away and uh, we'll sit outside and let the place uh, cool down for a bit because it's, it's just about, about just a little bit above 85 degrees. The humidity inside is pretty high. Uh, so I've got to open the door and uh, let the place cool down a little bit more. So 
Uh, I think about an hour, an hour or two or so. It's one o'clock now. Uh, I think we'll be done around 2, 2.30. I'll go inside, so we'll play it by ear. Anyways, I'll be back in a few seconds. Uh, welcome back. I'm back on the couch again. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> so it's just about 1 o'clock in the morning, so it's about, uh, f uh, not even two minutes after I spoke to you since, 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 since the first part. So this is part two of our discussion outside. Uh, the couch is working out pretty well. Uh, it's not very nice out here. I can, I can hear the wind. I can see the clouds. Uh, I didn't bring any music out for me today. Uh, I'm working on... The first episode of Living the Kauai Life. So that's a thing. <sighs> Gotta fix things up a little bit. <laughs> uh, it's a little windy and so the tarp is kind of flying around, but uh, it's not bad. I got a bag on. I, I, I'm not using the whole couch right now, so rather than take it oh, off the entire tarp, I've just rolled it back a bit. And uh, you can sort of see this here. We'll sort of get it. An image of it. There you go. See, it's been rolled back. So, there you go. Roll back tarp, and a little bit of it's kind of flying up. There's some there's some wind that's taking it. So, uh, we have. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it works. You know, the thing is, it doesn't always have to be pretty. It just has to work. Uh, and that's the kind. Of, they're just talking about uh, uh, that's before. This is actually a couple. Uh, before I stopped vlogging, was had this sort of sign on my uh, uh, on my on my channel. It said "Freg Freegan inside" because I'm a Freegan. And but what's a Freegan? Uh, a Freegan is a person who uh, has learned how to dumpster dive to a certain degree. And I'm not picking food out of the garbage, but uh, I am uh, taking uh, like, like someone left the couch on the curb to be taken away. And I had my little wagon and picked it up. I got my little wagon. That I use to haul stuff away from the from the industrial trash, uh, the good stuff that's out there. Uh, I got that also from the from the garbage. Someone had left it out, didn't want it anymore, and yay! I got my uh, my executive high back chairs are from there. These guys are very nice. Uh, uh, all my chairs that I use, that I use these executive high back chairs, they're all from the garbage, and they're easily four or five hundred dollars if you bought them brand new. You'd be spending like five hundred bucks easily on these chairs. So. Uh, I'll, you know, <laughs> this is kind of the way I live, I live my life. You know, if you said, uh, as I said before, I'm a private scientist. I don't have government funds flowing in. I don't have deep pockets. So how do you do it? Well, freaking is the way to go. And that is recycling as much as you can, uh, uh, reusing what you can, uh, you, uh, buying refurbished. Uh, for the price of a brand new laptop, but about $1,000 uh, with Linux on there, uh, I can get three laptops for about three hundred dollars, three hundred and twenty bucks, about there. Uh, I can get three, three laptops, three, three refurbished laptops, and these laptops do the job. They they get the job done. And so this is how my office has been run. My office is running on all refurbished equipment. And so there's there's no need to go out for me for me anyways. There's no need for me to go out and buy brand new because I'm willing to do the work. I'm willing to put stuff put the effort in and work my way from a sort of, if you will, a deficit where I don't have everything that everybody else has uh, to something more significant. And I think other people can do the same thing. I've gone from uh, buying cold cuts, which are very expensive, uh, to making my own. And that cuts the cost down greatly. So, uh, but, you know, when, when, I, when I do the first episode of Kawhi Life, uh, I'll be talking about some of the the, the, the foods be, uh, I make, some of the uh, the way I fixed up my tea house. I have, I have just the way I have the couch here, and I have the, sort of the table set up there. I have the same thing on the on the research desk. I have a tiny little table that goes right beside the couch. Uh, it is kawaii. It is uh, on the kids' side of things, and this is what it is. This is living the kawaii life is being a kid for the rest of your life. And if, as a scientist, that's what you're doing anyways. And this it kind of fits perfectly. So, um, that's, you know, you're doing advanced physics where you're watching cartoons. And you know, there's no other way of, of living life. You, do, you know, you're sitting down, you're studying, and uh, you've got your cartoons in front of you. This, that, that, so that's my office. The couch is my office. It's, 
I think it, okay, it, it wouldn't be possible to do the 12 hours, the long hours I do, if it weren't comfortable like that. I mean, I had, had, had the executive high back chairs and it didn't work. I, I couldn't do the 12 hours in the chair. But the music studio is now functioning. That's where we have, so where the music studio is now. Uh, that was my uh, research desk. So uh, now um, it's now the uh, music studio, and right next to it is the electronics bench, and that's still being fixed up. And of course, on the other side, that's the laundry. So is it, it? The projects are getting done. They're getting bit by bit. We're moving forward with different things, and uh, as this occurs. Uh, uh, you'll start seeing more and more content coming out on Cyborg Alpha TV because uh, Cyborg Alpha TV is going to pull in the the, uh, the, uh, the episodes from all the different uh, channels. So, uh, from all the different shows, from all across all the different channels that I have uh, on the internet, on uh, YouTube. And there's, there's, one for, there's one for our oceanographic and atmospheric research that will handle those projects. There's one for... Uh, astronomy, physics, and space uh, that will handle that area there. It's basically some of more more advanced physics. Uh, we'll talk about uh, superstring theory there, M theory, uh, quantum mechanics. Uh, we'll we'll bring uh, the 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 question of God uh, when we talked about uh, agnosticism and how atheism is actually a belief now. Uh, we well, not that it's a belief now, but. <laughs> it always was, but they were never able to get to that point to say, okay, that it's real. They had, had the assumption, but they were able to hide enough of the sort of uh, the doubts up until 1945. In 1945, uh, a lot of the doubts had gone, uh, and they weren't able to prove uh, that there wasn't a God. So the statement that there is no God was more of a belief. So atheism became a belief. And because it's a belief or an uncertainty about God, it falls under the broad umbrella of agnosticism. Agnosticism is the uncertainty or lack of knowledge of God. And it doesn't mean it means that you don't know who God is. If you believe there is a God, and if you don't believe there is a God, it means that you probably there probably might not be a God. So it covers the entire range of uh, of, of belief and non-belief about God. So. Uh, as long as there's an uncertainty there, then that's where it is. That's agnosticism. Uh, and so this, we'll, we'll do a variety. Of the, uh, the, the Byzantine and Antiquity Study Channel will handle a lot of the ancient history, uh, bringing up a lot of the ancient culture that, that, that hasn't been seen uh, in Western culture for too long. Uh, I think uh, most of it was not known to the Western culture. A lot of it's going to be brand new stuff. Uh, so there's a lot to get done. There's a lot to work through. Uh, I'm still working on the Open Protocol Institute. There's still work to be done there. Um, Mars Alpha needs work. So there's a whole checklist of stuff that has to be done. And I think, I hope to be getting to, to film the first episode of uh, Living the Qual Life tonight. And I hope also to get to, uh, if it's, if, and I think the filming depends on, on, on the lights. The, and it's very hot. The lights are hot if you turn all the lights on. So if, I'm, if I can cool my place down enough, that's about, take about two hours to do that. If I can cool my place down enough, then I'll be able to film. But if I can't cool the place down enough, then I'm not going to be able to film. So that's going to sort of bring up the... Uh, it's going to bring... Th this is what determines the factor of whether something goes or it doesn't go. Uh, if the conditions are right and it goes, if the conditions aren't right, then it doesn't go. So, anyways, I'm going to leave this here, and I'll, I think we've got enough for another episode uh, of Big Bang Theory, or else we'll sort of see you after this, and I'll either see you in the next segment, or I'll, or I'll see you in the next episode. Either one.
Democratic Earth, Earth.